resolved that it is the opinion of this meeting that the merchants and vendors of goods and merchandise within this colony should take an oath not to sell or dispose of any goods or merchandise whatsoever which may have been shipped from Great Britain after the first day of September next, as aforesaid, except the articles before accepted, and that they will, upon the receipt of such prohibited goods, either send the same back again by the first opportunity, or deliver them to the committees of the respective counties, to be deposited in some warehouse at the risk and charge of the owners, until they, their agents or factors, shall be permitted to take them away by the said committees, and that the names of those who refuse to take such oath be advertised by the respective committees in the counties wherein they reside, and to the end that the inhabitants of this colony may know what merchants and vendors of goods and merchandise have taken such oath that the respective committees should grant a certificate thereof to every such person who shall take the same. Resolved that it is the opinion of this meeting that during our present difficulties and distress no slaves ought to be imported into any of the British colonies on this continent. And we take this opportunity of declaring our most earnest wishes to see an entire stop forever put to such a wicked, cruel, and unnatural trade. Resolved that no kind of lumber should be exported from this colony to the West Indies until America be restored to her constitutional rights and liberties, if the other colonies will accede to a like resolution, and that it be recommended to the General Congress to appoint as early a day as possible for stopping such exports. Resolved that it is the opinion of this meeting if American grievances be not redressed before the first day of November, 1775, that all exports of produce from the several colonies to Great Britain should cease, and to carry the said resolution more effectually into execution, that we will not plant or cultivate any tobacco after the crop now growing, provided the same measure shall be adopted by the other colonies on this continent, as well as those who have heretofore made tobacco, as those who have not. And it is our opinion also, if the Congress of Deputies from the several colonies shall adopt the measure of non-exportation to Great Britain, as the people will be thereby disabled from paying their debts, that no judgments should be rendered by the courts in the said colonies for any debt after information of the said measures being determined upon. Resolved that it is the opinion of this meeting that a solemn covenant and association should be entered into by the inhabitants of all the colonies upon oath that they will not after the time which shall be respectively agreed on at the general congress export any manner of lumber to the west indies nor any of their produce to great britain or sell or dispose of the same to any person who shall not have entered into the said covenant and association, and also that they will not import or receive any goods or merchandise which shall be shipped from Great Britain after the first day of September next, other than the before enumerated articles, nor buy or purchase any goods 
except as before accepted, of any person whatsoever who shall not have taken the oath herein before recommended to be taken by the merchants and vendors of goods, nor buy or purchase any slaves hereafter imported into any part of this continent until a free exportation and importation be again resolved on by a majority of the representatives or deputies of the colonies, and that the respective committees of the counties in each colony, so soon as the covenant and association becomes general, publish by advertisement in their several counties a list of the names of those, if any such there be, who will not accede thereto, that such traitors to their country may be publicly known and detested. Resolved, that it is the opinion of this meeting that this and the other associating colonies should break off all trade, intercourse, and dealings with that colony, province, or town which shall decline or refuse to agree to the plan which shall be adopted by the General Congress. Resolved, that should the town of Boston be forced to submit to the late cruel and oppressive measures of government, that we shall not hold the same to be binding upon us, but will, notwithstanding, religiously maintain and inviolably adhere to such measures as shall be concerted by the General Congress for the preservation of our lives, liberties, and fortunes. Resolved that it be recommended to the deputies of the General Congress to draw up and transmit a humble and dutiful petition and remonstrance to His Majesty, asserting in decent firmness our just and constitutional rights and privileges, lamenting the fatal necessity of being compelled to enter into measures disgusting to His Majesty and His Parliament, or injurious to our fellow subjects in Great Britain, declaring in the strongest terms our duty and affection to His Majesty's person, family, and government, and our desire to continue our dependence upon Great Britain, and most humbly conjuring and beseeching His Majesty not to reduce His faithful subjects of America to a state of desperation and to reflect that from our sovereign there can be but one appeal. And it is the opinion of this meeting that after such petition and remonstrance shall have been presented to His Majesty, the same shall be printed in the public papers in all the principal towns in Great Britain. Resolved that George Washington, Esquire, and Charles Broadwater, gentlemen, lately elected our representatives to serve in the General Assembly, attend the convention at Williamsburg on the first day of August next, and present these resolves as the sense of the people of this county upon the measures proper to be taken in the present alarming and dangerous situation of America. Resolved that George Washington, Esquire, John West, George Mason, William Rumney, William Ramsey, George Gilpton, Robert Hanson Harrison, John Carlyle, Robert Adam, John Dalton, Philip Alexander, James Kirk, William Brown, 
Charles Broadwater, William Payne, Martin Cockburn, Lee Massey, William Hartshorn, Thomas Triplett, Charles Alexander, Thomas Pollard, Townsend Dade Jr., Edward Payne, Henry Gunnell, and Thomas Lewis be a committee for this county, that they or a majority of them on any emergency have power to call a general meeting and to concert and adopt such measures as may be thought most expedient and necessary. Resolved that a copy of these proceedings be transmitted to the printer at Williamsburg to be published.